staying in downtown Winnipeg is awesome. It's a short walk to the Forks and the Exchange, and there are lots of places to eat and great things to do right in the area. For sure. We are having a blast. the Delta Hotels Winnipeg in a one-bedroom suite which had a beautiful king-size bed, seating area, balcony, and a gorgeous bathroom complete with hot tub. And if you want even more of a hot tub experience, you can head down to the indoor pool and check out everything there. There's a bigger hot tub, pool, and a kids pool. The hotel also has a coffee bar and a restaurant on site. Unfortunately, their restaurant Blaze was closed when we were there, but that was totally okay because we wandered over to Hargrave Street Market, just steps from the hotel. There's lots of different places to try at Hargrave, obviously, but our first stop was at Good Fight Taco. We had tacos al pastor and they were delicious. These tacos are like the perfect combination of sweet and sour, a little bit spicy. Love them. I spilled some of my pants twice, but I think I've managed to get most of it off. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's worth it. After tacos, we wander through Matola Grocery, which is a cool boutique grocery shop that's also in the market. It features items and sauces from the different restaurants that you can find in the market, as well as a variety of amazing fresh and canned higher-end items to try. Still feeling a bit hungry, we grabbed a table at Gusto North, an awesome downtown addition to the Pizzeria Gusto family. As always, we started by diving right into a couple of spritzes. found our summer 2021 beverage. Then we ordered the 887 pizza, which for the record is one of the most delicious pizzas in the known universe. Oh my God. The tomato sauce has such a beautiful flavor. And the like pure de latte cheese on top and all the meat. Oh yeah, this is amazing. Gusto North has impeccable cocktails made by master bartenders. We finished our late lunch with a new entry in our cocktail compilation, the Spumoni. So the peppercorns add just like, obviously a peppery flavor, but it doesn't overwhelm. It's just like right underneath. Beautiful. That's a win, I love that. Doesn't taste anything like spumoni ice cream. <laughs> Maybe a little. Next up in our adventure, we wandered over to Kalmayuk to explore the brand new gallery and a truly innovative space. It's home to the largest public collection of contemporary Inuit art in the world. that we were most blown away by was the main hall exhibition. It brings together different kinds of Inuit art and it breaks that perception that Inuit art is only about carvings. It was also really just special being there, being back in the gallery. Yeah, it was awesome. Another element that amazed us was the visible vault. It's on the main floor and it's designed to be a working vault. So at times you'll even be able to see people in there working on the pieces. It houses thousands of artworks all in one place and is the very first of its kind. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you won't miss our other videos like the other 24 hours in Winnipeg videos that we've been doing. We've done one for the Forks and we've done one for the Exchange. So go check those out.
cap off our day, we booked a table at Deer and Almond to try out their tasting menu. Deer and Almond is one of our favorite places to eat in yep. the city. The atmosphere has this modern, cool, artsy vibe, and the chef Mandel Hitzer is always trying new and exciting things with the menu. Day two with breakfast at the hotel, which was super easy to order using the Bonvoy app. We ordered the night before and it arrived right on time. And the breakfast was really good. My wrap was like outstanding. I've thought about it several times already. <laughs> Of course, you can't explore downtown without doing a little shopping. So we decided to hit up Mountain Equipment Co-op, which is always super fun to check out and a really just a nice building to go and yeah. see. We found a great new jacket there and some new coffees. So hooray, it was a successful shopping trip. Right now we're headed to a place called Modern Electric Lunch, which is on Main Street and it's kind of a coffee shop, breakfast place. We've never been here before, so yeah, we're just gonna check it out. We literally opened the day, went to Code Red. So, of course. that's our cookies and cream Oreo. Oh, maybe one of those, but yeah. 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 Delicious. Yeah, I'm so glad we finally had a chance to pop in there. It's like a bright, super modern space, really friendly, and it just kind of adds to the awesome coffee scene here in Winnipeg. They sell breakfast and lunch um, and a bunch of really nifty looking sweets, which we are going to try a little bit later today. All right, so it is exactly five seconds later and we've decided we could not wait until later on today to eat this cookie. So. We are gonna dig in and at least try a little bit of it now. This is the cookies and cream cookie from Modern Electric Lunch. It looks like it has some very large, delightful Oreo pieces in it. Oh, that's a delicious treat. It's got that awesome home-baked cookie thing where it's like crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Mm. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't wait till later. Woohoo! 